But, you know, without further ado, let's get started on it, okay? We got some killer frequency. Oh, I need to turn off my Nessie overlay real quick. Got that. Um, let me see how the game audio sounds as well. Whoa. Oh, wait, that's my microphone. Um, let's see. And I know there are different endings, so it will be fun to see which way you go. Oh, true. Okay. I'm excited. I didn't know there were different endings, too. All right. This will be fun. This will be fun then. Let's do it. Movement. WASD. Okay. Okay, let's check the settings first. Game display. Subtitles on. We need that. Display. Windowed mode. Keep that off. Um, FOV. Let's kind of up the ante here a little bit. Uh, maybe go. We'll go 90. Um, I will not be on tomorrow. Um, I usually take uh, Wednesdays off, Dante, but we'll be back on Thursday. I need to get my schedule up on uh, on the other for the other days real soon. I need to I need to do that. I think it's different. It's different endings. Certainly, things you can avoid or not. Oh, okay. Night security was amazing. Hopefully, this game is like that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Brandon, I I don't know if it would be just like that, but I think there's more mystery and like scare terrors to this game. So I'm, I'm definitely excited. Oh. Why am I the dumpster? Why am I back here? You can hold two objects, swap your objects between hands, F drop objects, R to throw. Okay. Oh. This mouse sensitivity is high. I play in The Walking Dead. Sounds like a Walking Dead whistle. Is Negan here? Okay. Okay. Press E to inspect. Okay. Oh. Hockey. You guy. Sir. Sir. That reminds me, actually. We'll put the desktop audio where y'all can... It'll be heard in the VOD again. Um, since we're not playing music. Ah. Can I throw this at hockey? Oh, that was loud. Is that a mousetrap? Crouch, toggle, control, toggles, crouch, okay. This is weird. Good night, Dante. Have a good one. See you Thursday, okay? See you next time. Sir, no sir. Here, uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. That. Oh, that's not creepy. Uh. Oh, I'm in a dream. I get it now. Oh, hi. It's a nice mask you got on there, sir. Okay. I only see a guru playing a scary game. Uh huh. Uh huh. You, uh, you hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or <clears throat> I don't know uh, how. Forrest, is this a joke? No, I, <laughs> I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats. You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, mm -hmm. not dogs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But I mean, does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something? 
<laughs> Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Oh, yeah. Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment for each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. That's true. But if you're sure you don't want to... <laughs> okay. For a second, I thought that said cheeks. I said, let's... I thought it said, let's do the cheeks. I was like... Yo. <laughs> he seems friendly, right, Tweet? I've heard this is a good game, Purple Spooters. I'm excited. All right, let's... let's... Oh, shoot, this game, Brandon. I don't know what you're talking about, PT. Okay, no. Let's right, do the checks. Fine. Let's get Let's... through this. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Oh. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubularance. Let's start with record playing. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. Well, it is Valentine's Day. You can do the cheeks. <laughs> Hey yo! <laughs> Let me bump the music down a little bit. Um, SFX sound. Let's put these down in maybe 90. 85. Let's go 85. I've watched someone play this months ago. Oh, really? I'm excited. All right. And then stick it on the record. Uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. That's what I'm doing. There we go. Mm, mm. Don't push me, cause I am close to the edge. Mm, 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 mm. Great. Now turn it off. Okay. Ooh, 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 All ooh, right. Ooh, Up next, ooh, phone mm, line buttons. Mm, mm. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. Line one. Okay. Let's... But thank you so much for that raid, ring raid. Thank you, thank you. It was fun. You went on a rampage. Oh my goodness. What kind of rampage are we talking about? Line one is the leftmost button. Oh, okay. Went on a rampage. Hey, yo. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. All right, Don. Get it? <laughs> yeah, it's a riot. Great. And button two works just the same. So. Let's move to the Peggy button. Oh, you mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Oh, press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm, is there a Peggy mute button? They oh. haven't invented it yet. Now, come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. Peggy, I need some help. I need some help, Peg. <sighs> Peggy. Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. <laughs> I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Let's say or or even red, that's all. Oh red coats are even red. That's all goodness gracious. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Front of the desk to the right. Uh. There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. Okay. These should let you affect pretty much everything. It's like streamer now, mode. Let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Seems to be all working. Are Ooh. we done, Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time. Uh, should not encourage Get into you. the rubbish bin, I honestly. My fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Oh, now, wait. Let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought that was I made it. Nope. And don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Whoop! High five. Okay, you're live in three, oh. two, what? One eighty nine point sixteen. <clears throat> Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to one eighty nine point sixteen, The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. 
guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm gonna play you a scream, then you call and... Guess that scream. We need you to guess... Maybe hey, we should put my scream into the game. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play <laughs> that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to... Guess that scream. Guess that scream. Hey, what do you mean, play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Oh, shoot. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Uh-oh. Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I, I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. Oh. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so... Oh, man. I hate what I've become. <laughs> really, Peggy? You want, you want me to scream? You know the show depends on my golden voice, right? Wrong game, Hello, Tofu. Forrest. Oh, my goodness. That's enough dead air already. <clears throat> Just think of a scream and let it rip. Let it rip. Oh, oh man. God. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. Had to step away there for a second. Listen close and then call in to guess, guess that, that scream. scream. The falling. Let's do the falling from a cliff scream. Ah, oh, that was weak stuff. That was oh, weak. Oh. There you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing May. That was weak. And one free. We got to teach him how to be a screamer, okay? Right, though. Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your I guesses. I hate what I've become. Now, here's some music I... while you get dialing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Should I introduce a song? Yes. Time to go on the journey that is Glass Processor with their hit song 1980X. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, God, Forrest, that was mm, amazing. Mm, 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 mm. Thanks. Ooh, ooh, I ooh. can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? <laughs> Lighten up, Forrest. That's going to be the highlight of ooh, my week. Oh, I'm doing three different things at once. You're good, Tofu. Always good. Nobody's calling. Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Oh. Oh, hail to the nah. PT, yo. Wait, how do, how do I how do I pick up the call? Ah, here we go. Welcome to 189.16, the stream caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Slow night? Well, Leslie, I guess it must be a slow night for crime if you've got time to call in. What can we do for you? Slow night? Forrest, I found a body. I need help. Forrest, I recognize her voice. Are you asking me? I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy. I'm not going to be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. What? Leslie, if you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. Uh -oh. What was his name? Sheriff Andrews or whatever? I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Wait, oh. what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and I found him. Oh, lovely! Oh, my poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Wow. Someone got up very close. And oh. I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... 
by the other officers. I don't, I don't understand. Where are the other officers? Do they know? <clears throat> do they secure the scene or, or whatever cops are supposed to do? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God. Wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We got three. We three. Hey. <laughs> I called it. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything with local numbers. Something's wrong. Thank you, Miss Quack. There myself. How are you? Know what's going on and bring help back with me. You know, but if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's going to man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. Eh? What? This is a bad idea. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, but this is a terrible idea. What on earth made you think to do that? You're the only <clears throat> person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. Uh-huh. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. Okay. You know that I'm so good at interviews. They sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. Eh? I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. Hmm. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's got to be another way in. My first thought would not be to call radio station if I found it. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, re oh, indeed. Not gonna lie, that wasn't the jump scare I thought it was gonna be. It's all right. It was still good, Miss Quack. How are you? Try to break down the door. That won't work. Find another way into the cell. Find another set of keys. That could work too, Tweed. Myler, Myler. I don't know if you saw, but we got our house. <gasps> you did? Oh, let's go, Miss Quack. Congratulations. High five. High five. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy for you. That I'm so happy for y'all. Congratulations on that. That is amazing, Miss Quack. Oh my goodness. Is there another way into the holding cell? That, that is awesome. Say? It wouldn't be much of a holding cell if it had a back door. Find another set of keys. There's gotta be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Check the officer's desk. Sheriff Matthews. I imagine the sheriff's keys are the ones that are got used. Have you looked around the officer's desks? That's the first place I'd check. That was the first place I'd check, too. I couldn't find anything useful, though. Okay, so Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he... You know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but... I didn't really look up close. Mm-hmm. One second. The house is so big, the girls get to play, um, get a playroom and everyone gets an office. That's awesome, Miss Quack. That is awesome. Oh my goodness. It's been a long time coming, that's for sure. That's good. I'm so glad y'all got that, Miss Quack. Are y'all officially moved in? Let's go. Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? I'm terrified. I'm quitting KFM if this is a prank. Yeah. I, I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I'm leaving this town. I've never heard of anything like, like this happening in broadcast. No, yeah. I've never heard about anything like this either. But we're here now, Forrest, and we've just got to see what happens next. Come on, Martinez. 
there we go. I'm just gonna sit you in your office chair. Okay. We'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. Yeah. Uh. It's the right That's thing to good. do, I guess. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just work together like you did earlier. Lovely. Do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? This killer is planning. Wait. Oh, we, we heard this trouble. whistle. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? <clears throat> it can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? With that mask. And how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Lock the doors. Hello there, Raven. How are you? Hello, hello. My car is torched. We need to think. Um... Take a police cruiser? There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any... Uh, that plot is getting thick, Brandon. Reach into your pocket there, deputy, and... Yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. I thought maybe... I out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But Wouldn't you have those? Wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? Whistling man is right there. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. Oh, I put in some repair requests that the I landlord's gonna fix first, but we're hoping we can start moving in this weekend. Let's go! I'm so glad to hear that, Miss Quack. <clears throat> so glad to hear that though. Lock up in the station, right? Could you grab something from there? Welcome back, I Hack. Earlier, but as you might have guessed, it was locked. But maybe the wolf has come to collect the Raven. Absolutely. We could have last weekend, but it felt easier to wait and let the landlord no. fix that stuff. That's fair. That's no. fair. You know, take your time with it. Absolutely. None of the keys work. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, so he doesn't work around us and vice versa. Himself. No, exactly. You know, that's definitely big too. Well, that'll be good, though. It's going to be awesome. Y'all are going to move in soon and have all, all right. that, for, especially for the little ones. Leslie needs to, to take a weapon with her, but which one? Honestly, okay, the pepper spray. If he's wearing a mask, there's no, there's no proof he's going to possibly get affected by that. Maybe the taser? It's got to be the taser, right? I've got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then... Wait. Oh, welcome that? back, Hack. No? No. I, I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. Be careful. Be careful. Yeah. I don't like it. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Ah, uh, I don't know about that. Hello there, borderliner. How are you? If you can hear me, it's time to move. <clears throat> Just lean on me. Yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So, here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. Lovely. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Good luck, Leslie. That's one brave woman. She got oh, tasered. She, she does. This. You know, I've got to say, 
this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Me too. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Mm, are we sure? The only annoying thing about moving oh, is the, unpa the packing the and unpacking. Right. But now you won't have to I'm do it for years, through. so that's good. I agree. Hello? Not having to worry about that for years is great. This is Leslie. Are you there? That's great. Over. We're, uh, we're here. Over. We're here. Leslie, so I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Debbie That's Martinez good. Martinez and the passenger seat still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! Why are you whistling. sitting there, though? Drive! Whistling. Drive the car! Take that! Leslie, drive! Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. Call me when you're on the road. Sounds like you handled that pretty well. Goodness. No, I mean, well, okay. In the situation... The right call. And usually don't do that. Oh but in the God, situation, look. Saved. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my god, yeah. But let me tell you. I prefer doing it from your side of the boat. I fair I I understand. Leslie, how long do you think it's gonna take to get help? Gallows Creek and the Nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while. Maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. Oh. Oh, oh, uh. Get better. Uh -huh. We'll, we'll do, do our, our best. best to keep everyone safe until then. Thank you. Just do what you did just now, and Gallows Creek is going to be okay. Uh -huh. yeah. Anyway, once I'm in, oh, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon, but I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Take care, Leslie. Take care. Be safe out there. Good luck, Over here trying to. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. Deputy Martinez survived the whistling oh, man. Let's go. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We'll oh dang, it's possible that tomorrow. she doesn't make it, I think. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this whistling man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here. Just don't and just don't give him this way. 16 the scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. Oh. Uh, let's do the flow. Mm, mm. Uh, this is uh, not what I uh, signed up for, uh, Peggy. Uh, uh, this is actually uh, insane. Uh, uh, Did she really uh, say it's going to take her four hours? Four hours? This guy's going to kill half the town in four hours. Jeez. Yes, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and... Killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. Dang. No reason for it. No motive. He just... did. Mala got the hoops, right? This is the only this is the only time because I can't usually hit those shots. Mm -mm. But borderline, I hope you're doing great. So, uh, what happened to him? Okay. What happened to him? Well, police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now, and it was well, it was on this night actually. Oh, that's. The police cornered mm. him and jumped into the river. His body was never found. Lovely. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is, he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right. And that trash can get full? What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. Oh. We'll do our best. Copycat or ghost killer, I, I guess we'll do our best. That's the spirit. Huh. Yeah. At least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday, 
after midnight could be around 35. 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 no, people. 35 yep. people. Oh. Best. 35 at best? Wow. 35, yeah. It's a school night. And what's the population of Gallows Creek? Dang it. I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah. Before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to ten, fifteen, easy. <coughs> five thousand on the low end? Wow. We could only dream of that. Five million. Million? Mill, yeah, gosh. Sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. Whoa, hey, yo, hey. Yeah, I guess we're going to learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Oh. Take it when you're ready. All right, let me, okay, let me... Forrest, shut the music off. Turn that down a little bit. Yet. Keyword on yet. Exactly. You know? Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. The Scream. Uh, all right. Damn, Darth Vader. Chill out. <sighs> Who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? So are you sleeping? All right, Darth Vader, come on. Tell us how you really What's feel. Your name and why are you calling in? Oh. You know my name. Ah, oh, it's a prank. That was a weak whistle. I've come back from the dead to kill again. No That's not him. Say. He couldn't even do the. He couldn't even do the whistle. Do you accept requests? Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Oh, damn. <sighs> Maybe you must make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice? To us? I, I mean, me. Yeah, they're fakes. They're fakes. <laughs> I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or I'll cut your face off. Goddamn kids. I'm cutting them off. Yeah, cut him off. Uh, we also want a mega goal. Uh huh. Anyone just tuning in? We do, in fact, have an actual killer out in the streets tonight. Yeah. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Mm, mm, mm. Enjoy the music. Enjoy the bass. Ooh, ooh, Peggy, ooh. What the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town. I'm good. Me and my friend found some just people on siege and we had some good laughs with them. That's awesome. I love that for you. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. Nope, 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 nope. chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... No. That's real. Yeah. Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. Oh, dear. Let's do this. Lovely. Just spent 10 minutes looking for the chalk, uh, chalk chips I bought to make chocolate mousse. I got distracted doing things while I had them in my hands. I found them outside. Oh, no. <laughs> Sounds like he needs to learn to whistle. Exactly. I made an Oreo shake because one of the other managers made, made you mad. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But enjoy that Oreo shake. Shoo. Shoo. Sorry, I wanted to listen to the music, Peggy. Hello there. Hello, caller. You're live on the screen. You're live with Forrest on the screen with Forrest Nash and the Texas Miler. I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. It is meant to be a scary game. It's like a scary puzzle game. 
What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp and I need the cops now. I'm sorry that the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the Whistling Man is after me. Oh, sure. in hand. Oh, God. It's actually happening. Mm hmm. Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my key somewhere along the way. Of course. Sounds like you lost him. I think we'll be fine. No, can you go back and find your keys? Is there anywhere else you can go? Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I don't talk so loud, lady. Okay, I'm trying to help you here. Okay. That's the whistle. But I gotta start this engine without the keys. And you're gonna have to help me. Hey, I don't know how to do that. I don't. Uh, if it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatband. <clears throat> I'll call you back when I find it. Uh, uh, okay. You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash. Your friendly neighborhood radio host. Mechanic. Mechanic and, and Savior. And savior. So oh yeah. Tonight, while the record spins, folks, this Dumb. one goes out to you, Sandra. Let's see. What do we stab? Oh, oh, uh, that might not fit tonight. Then the hangups. The hangups. We'll play the hangups. There we go. But it is like a scary game. Hope you enjoy this. A little bit borderliner. Apparently, it's really good. I like it so far, honestly. The Tamora twins or something. Timberline twins talk motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Wait, what? I'm leaving? Oh hell no. This Gallows Creek? So that's police station. Where? Okay, that's the radio station. I think I'm definitely not home alone in the dark. It's not, honestly, I don't think it'll be a crazy scary game. But like, there's a... Oh, I was feeling... Oh, wait, no. Not. I don't think it fills up like that. I swear if I die, Peggy, we're gonna have some problems. I got a bad feeling about this. Hello, anybody pooping? Hello there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello there, General Mini. You are a food one. It's great to see you, Mini. <laughs> How's the rest of your night? <laughs> Mini, that actually scared me. <laughs> Alright, thank you, Rabbit, for the scare you guy. Where, what? I honestly, I didn't even hear what she said. Where did I need to go? <laughs> she said I need to go outside, though. So many locked doors, so few keys. I got jump scared last night when a fox started screaming outside my house. I would too. Thank you, Revan. This gets into some cool puzzles later. Oh, I'm excited. Got him good. That was good. What? Okay, that door's staying shut, but I gotta go outside. That's messed up, Peggy. Just saying. Not getting in there tonight. Cool clock, actually. It's a really cool clock. Wait, where am I going? I need a key to get in there. Is there an objective here? Paper balls made in into the basket from the desk. Nice. Find something that will help Sandra start her car. Okay. Gary, you're on my front page recommendations. You're giving me some major side eye. Was I really? <laughs> I we I already knew already knew many you know it's like the side eye, side eye. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Honestly, I like how the game looks too, Tweed. I really like how the game looks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, it's just me. You know, I already knew, Mini. That's the thing. Already knew. Shinorlaski, you are a food one. How are you, sir? Hello there, Husky. It's so great to have you in. I hope you're doing great. For the hundredth time, it's on audio meeting. Please, people won't get the egg and exit. Ah, shoot. You're doing good. I'm so glad to hear that. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. We're just playing a new scary game called Killer Frequency. And I like it. It's It seems really good so far. Um, It's a different kind of game than we've played before. But honestly, I really like it. it has to be important. Who wins up for your car theft magazine? Those huevos rancheros aren't sitting right. Ooh. Oh. Gonna need something to read. Oh, pray for me. Oh. Me just going through everyone's privacy here. Okay. Let's make sure we don't have a killer on the loose. Okay. Okay. Everyone's writing so different. Enjoy it. Because you got the same one as mine, right? You got no gato. Oh, look, a tape. Where would a key be around here? Let me go put this in the in the recording room. Yes, let's go. I guess you'll need to find that car theft magazine, maybe. Oh, true. Oh, and he went to the bathroom. He went to the bathroom. Good point, Borderliner. Great point. Oh, man. I was wondering why it stank in there. Oh, that's the ladies' bathroom. Hang on. Wait. Oh, no, it's not. That is. Okay, hang on. This looks useful. Fix all cars. Oh. Oh. Fix all cars. Let's put this in here. Probably how you interact with some things will determine... Step one, use a screwdriver as a key if that fails. Step two, remove the steering column cover. Step three, check the serial number, then strip and twist the following wires together. If there is a four before a three and a number seven in the number, red and blue. Okay. Now strip the purple wire. Do not touch this. Do not touch this live wire. Brush the purple wire against the twisted wires from step three. If the radio turns on, it won't turn off. Cut the left pink wire. Do not cut the other pink wires. This will trigger the alarm. And that's going to be huge. I, li I really like the art style for this game. I love styles like this. Really love styles like this. All right, let me set this here. So there's clues around here to kind of help you gather and possibly save all of these people that are probably going to call. Oh, you know what? Here, let's do this. You find anything? Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. When you're ready, shut the music off. I watched the Super Bowl. It didn't have a clue what was happening. I mean, it was all right. It was definitely all right. Caller on line one. <clears throat> Peggy. Honestly, Sandra might be in trouble now. We were running around for too long. <laughs> Santa might, Sandra might be in trouble. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this, baby? Okay. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I. I. Oh. Screwdriver's too fat to fit. Oh, no. What next? Okay, okay. Unscrew the steering Unscrew column. Unscrew the steering column. Okay. Okay. God, I love these screws. Okay, covers off. Okay, there's a bunch of wires down here, all paired up, and oh god, my heart is pumping. 
You got this, Sandra. You got this. Tell me exactly what you see. You know what? You're doing, you're doing great. great. Okay. I can do this. You got this. It's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. Okay, first... What's the serial number? What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is... 576-894-320. If there is a 4 before a 3, if there is a 6 anywhere do and doesn't start with a 5, if there is a 6 anywhere and doesn't start with a 5, green and brown, so it's not that one. If there is a 0 at the end, Can she repeat? Oh, wait, hang on. 576-894-320. Okay. If there's a 4 before a 3, there is. And no number 7 in the number. Okay, that's not it. If there is a 0 at the end, there is. And a 3 doesn't come before a 6. Okay, so red and yellow. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Wait, 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 wait. Red and yellow. And then strip the... The following, okay, strip and twist the red and yellow wires. Strip and twist okay. together the red and yellow wires. <clears throat> All right. We take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Oh, perfect. Got a little rhythm with her. I like her. Purple wire. What next? Okay, after that, now strip the purple wire. Okay. And brush the purple wire against the twisted wires. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted. Strip okay. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. <clears throat> okay, okay. We strip and we brush and... <gasps> Energize Fantastic work, baby. Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, you get in for free. <laughs> oh! All right. I'm glad you're safe, but lay on the jazz. <laughs> Just keep driving. I just can't believe it, but we did it. Okay, nice now go. Work for now us. go. Drive. I bet Sandra is positively jazzed that you answered her call. You bet I am. You can get in jazz for free. Ooh, 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 we did it, Forrest. We sure did. Here comes ooh, another hit track that we're ja excited to share with you. Oh, dear. And remember. If you're also having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Yeah, don't don't Take come to away, me. Forrest. Oh, what what do we want today? Do we want do we want um stab in the night? What about the late night lurkers? Let's do late night lurkers. Mm, mm. Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers. If you Luna Thank you, Luna, for the sound and bits. I'm surviving out here, hockey, and I'm saving people's lives. Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about. <clears throat> what do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Oh. Really? Miserable? What? What is that? Hang on. Oh, it's a cricket. Bruh. Bruh, what? I need to forget. I, I need to remember those. Ooh. Ooh. So, uh, oh, oh. It's nothing personal. It's nothing personal, Peggy, but it's not Chicago. Or, hell, it's not really anywhere. <clears throat> I like it here. People are polite. Polite? And, uh, There's a killer on the loose. Friendly, usually, if you get to know them. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. Hockey. Good hockey. Stuff, Thank you, Hockey, okay. for the sound lights and the bits You're you guys. After a while. Not terrible after a while. I mean, Peggy's pretty nice. He's coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Are we hitting on Peggy? For, I think you're swell. Anyway, I think we are. I hope the killer is done for the night. Uh, don't say that. Don't say that. Mm -mm. Don't say that. 
That's not that's not how it works. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. I don't even think we have anybody calling. Twelve. It's only twelve forty-two. It was midnight. We did that in forty minutes. Caller on line one. That's some baloney. Okay, let me turn down the slow jazz. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. This is Forrest Nash. One eighty-nine point sixteen. The scream. And tonight's nine one one stand-in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Brian Ponty. Oh. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Okay. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Hello, Pizza. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? Oh, I'm so happy this guy. <laughs> that Eddie Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Did we announce that? Did we announce that she survived? Thanks for all you did there. I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. Wow, Brian. That's really good of you. All right. You really don't have to, though. <clears throat> oh, it's the least I can do. Oh, that's right. We were on air. That's right. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Poor choice of words tonight, I guess. Mm. That was pretty tasteless, I have to say. Yeah. That was pretty tasteless, I have to say. I'm sorry, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else of coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. We've got a great special this week. Hang up on him. Our famous pizza Just hang up on him. Deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Well, forget it. Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget. That. Probably time we played a paid ad. Oh. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? Mm. Yes. Sure. Done. Christian and a proud patriot. I already put the one in there. Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. Like his father and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs improve infrastructure and make gallows creek a good place to raise a family mm. unlike <clears throat> current mayor linda cartwright teddy gallows oh. jr lives in gallows creek oh he's our neighbor and he stands with our neighbors like sheriff matthews who after years of keeping the peace mayor cartwright is trying to force into early retirement teddy gallows jr doesn't oh. well he kind of already faced an early retirement a little bit Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Oh. Does Linda Cartwright? Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Help him become mayor. Yeah, help him become mayor. Yep. For Gallows Creek. Vote for All right, I got to head out. Good luck on the stream. Good night, everyone. Good night, hack. Have a good one. Take care. Be safe. I appreciate you, man. Have a great night. God, what a jackass. Yeah. 100% great A asshole. Great A. Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not. Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No. Just Thank the one. goodness. Good. I have to ask though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Ah, oh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, uh, of course, he's one of those guys. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day, and he never lets anyone forget it. This is the one time I can actually be good at this stuff, get so. Back to the show. Well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. Oh. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Oh. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's find out. I like Peggy. <laughs> Who's got their vote? I like Peggy. All right, we got a caller. Welcome to the scream <clears throat> with me, 
Forrest Nash. Forrest Nash. Leslie, oh. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. Oh. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs. And, wait, wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. I am 911. What? God, another one? Uh oh. Leslie's driving to Henderson right now. She left me in charge. Why on earth is Leslie? Oh, never mind. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Okay, so the people know the sheriff's dead. What okay. Happened? Really? Right now? Sir! You have a person downstairs! Try PT? Thank you, PT, for the sounders and the bits. Go make me miss my shot! Alright, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take? Alright, shoo! Goodness. I would 100% be doing what you're doing. <laughs> Honestly. Never mind that. Tell me what's happening. Honestly. You said there's been a break in? That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Teen. They get worse every year. Nah, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. Oh. But I was there. I covered it. You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. So you're gonna get got. Happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live Which paper I got? terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. Do you know that for a fact? Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. Oh, mini. <laughs> you can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? All right, now I should pay attention. I sure as shit <laughs> hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. Blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. Yeah. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from <clears> here <throat> is... <clears throat> Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Time. I could work. I could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Hey, we're Sorry, trying to keep you alive, sir. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out. <sighs> you realize how stupid that plan sounds. Hey, right? stupid can get some For stuff that done. To be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is on route. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Where did he say he was at? You He's in the fridge now for broke season. Nice. Killer got him too. Nice. Mr. Russell. I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second too. Go check your fax machine. Peggy, where's our fax machine? Do we have a fax machine? Go, Forrest. The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. This must be it. Okay. Kitchen. Okay. 
He said he's in the boardroom, right? Okay, yeah, because the fax machine's right there. Okay. All right. I have a tradition of making my tattoo artist treats when I go in, and this way I can save some bro brokies um, for uh, Valentine's Street too. That's awesome, Tweet. That's really nice of you to do, too. That's really nice of you. That is awesome. All right. Hey, did you get the fax? I did. Yes, I have. <coughs> Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my fax? I did. Yeah. I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Hey, okay, hey. Hey, folks. We're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. Okay. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. So maybe again we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number and then move Maurice somewhere safe so what extension should I call I would say extension three call to the ed editor's office call the editor's office the extension is zero three it's in the oh. office space I'll put the call through when you're ready all right Nash where do I need to go one second thought let's dial another room now um go to the kitchen because the staircase is right there and it's closer to the stairs We're moving to the kitchen yeah, that makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. Thanks, I like the big brain. Call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? <clears throat> Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. Let's do this. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. Good plan, Peggy. Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Ah, uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move. All right. All Hello, there. There. Hello there, General Brandon. Do you think you he'll are make it okay? a booed sure one. Be fine. A booed one, no, indeed. What do we do? <clears throat> Look at the be the stick figures. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> Whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could. Oh! Call incoming. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. I put... put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. Okay. I gotta give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh. Right, let's review where we are. We're in the so, kitchen. The only way out is by the stairs. Okay. Which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way. But not quickly or quietly. Okay. Can you lock can you lock him in a room? Oh. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. Damn fire regulations say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. Damn. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. Huh. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? You a conspiracy fan? Ah. I didn't know you were into conspiracy, secrets. Peggy. We love I secrets. I may have borrowed a few tapes from our manager's office. Huh. He has quite the collection. Oh. Will you two chatterboxes pipe down? Oh, okay. I've yes. Okay. I've got it all okay. figured out. The secret archive. 
There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only, Only the, the outside. outside. Okay. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in, we can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh Is your Maurice? Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? No phone in there. The archive is a room Run, of secrets. Bitch. Run! Gossip, so we don't have a phone in there. I'll lock him in with the secrets, exactly. Up, I don't know if that's a good idea, Any though. Ideas, Forrest? Is there a TV in there? Use a radio? Is there a TV in that room? Maybe that could draw him in. Ah, of course. I turn it up, he comes in. And I get my head chopped off. Okay. Think of something else. Radio? Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. I was like, is it spoopy yet? Kind of. I hope he's a <laughs> Is it still that in the office? What we need then. Is his portable radio it's been good there? though. Nothing like Should scary be. scary. It's what he calls his work radio. But it's been really Should good. Be in the archives, <clears throat> actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted. We can call the boardroom too. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. Uh -huh. Save him for us. Thank you, hockey. Heck, if this works, we might even save the whole Yet. town. Yet. Exactly. Yet. Let's We're make close. it happen. Let's, Let's make it happen, happen Peggy. Peggy. How can we fail? Oh, I mean, okay. It's a plan with steps. Mm, you got to be ready for anything. In the secret archives, learn the killer, and... Oh, call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? I'm here. Hey, Is everything okay? I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would it's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly and make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Thank you, Hockey, for the yeah, sandwich and yeah, the bits, you guy. Cash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Thank you for the hydration, Husky. The radio works. If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off. You got it. Let's Bruh. do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Let's do it. Run, Forrest! Wait. Run! Oh, God damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up... Luna? How am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead! Thank you, you just... Luna, for the silence oh, and the bits. Hey, yo. I got a bad feeling about this, too, oh, Husky. Wait. We're the radio. <clears throat> we can just be quiet until you're ready. True. <laughs> if you can do that... Yeah, sure. 189.16. I know that's your station number. Yes. But a good editor always double checks. Uh huh. Can you confirm that? The best and only. 189.16. The Scream. Gallows Creek's best and only phone in talk show with me. I see how it is, Hockey. Nash. I see how it is. And me, Peggy. Jesus Christ. Hey! Got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Okay, you need to get to your office. Call the boardroom. Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is barely close to the editor's office. But we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Uh Cause he's the editor, right? The only thing is if we It's the only place he hasn't looked, but also, too, he needs to be in the archives for when we do the call, right? Let me have a think again. Where should we lure the killer? Archives? Call the archives. The extension is 01. The... I'm in the archives! Oh, that's right. Yep. Keep your head on, man, or 
<clears throat> okay, boardroom, 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 boardroom. Yeah, Call boardroom. boardroom. The extension is zero four. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Make the call. I'm sure. Make the call. Okay, calling the boardroom now. The only place he hasn't gone. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? Uh, I'll, I'll call the killer a jackass. Yeah. I'll just call the whistle. Hi, Ali. How are you? Hello, hello. That's the plan, right? So good to see you. Sure is. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. Oh. The radio set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I am. Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. No. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. What do you reckon? The desk is outside the option. These two options are out, out of it. The cabinet... He said it's only going to take a second to get into. Going to the cubicles, though, we're we're walking Hello? past that. Hello there, General Minnie. You are a boo on. Thank you, Minnie. <laughs> Side eye. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you're doing good, Allie. I'm doing great myself. Thank you, thank you. Dance party for Allie Bug? We could probably get ready, for sure. I'll be down. Celebration party? I agree. Allie, would you like a song? The cubicles seem so far... I say, it, as long as it doesn't take a long time to get out, and he's got to lock the door, so he needs to be right there. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. That means you can't escape, Don't though. Say anything True. Until I've had time to hide. But also, got too. It. We know the plan. You can trust us. He Here needs to be. Go. He needs to be able to lock the door. That's the thing. We have to lock him in. We have to lock the killer in. Hey, whistling man. Jackass. Forrest, I don't think that was enough time for him to hide. Wait, really? Oh, shit. Forrest Dash, you son of a bitch. I told you to... Gone. <sighs> Let's put on a song. Give us some time to recover. I think that would be for the best, Peggy. <sighs> Folks, we'll be back soon. If you have any stories about Maurice that you'd like to share, give us a call after this next track. Forgot. Dang it. Oh! Luna does pick good songs. Good night, Dre. Have a good one. That was time sensitive. Oh. Thank you, Dre, for the jump scare. Play oh my goodness. Course. Play a record? Okay. Okay. How about we play Stab in the Twilight? Okay. <laughs> Just bonk me. Oh my goodness, borderliner. Let, let, we'll play Stab, Stab in the Twilight. <laughs> Better put a record on. Sorry, I meant the self care. <laughs> Dre, thank you for the posture check in the stretch. Well, this is gonna be a long night. Oh, really? I feel like it's going pretty quickly to me. Uh, I could ask you some questions to speed things along. 
You're gonna interview me. JK Husky. Oh goodness. You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded. What did you do? I, I didn't. Uh. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Goodness, perfect song. Oh, what do you want to know, right. Peggy? Shoot, what do you want to know? Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy. I messed that up so bad, general. though. Dang okay. it. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Perfect Creek? song. Nope. No, that's too specific. Too specific? I... Luna does pick good songs, though, Allie. Do you have any... Luna does pick good songs. I don't. I'm only child, <clears throat> and my folks are dead. Oh, oh. I'm sorry, Forrest. Uh, it's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. Anyway, yeah. What about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as You're yours. doing great, Dre, but have a good night. Take care of you safe, okay? Have a great night, Dre. We appreciate you. Make sure I didn't miss any comments. He might not need to escape. Oh, yeah, that's true. That need quick access to lock him in. Yeah. But dang it. I can't believe I botched that, though. Dang it. And he's dead. And he, you know, he died. Oh. What happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. He's been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck. Well, that was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. Dang. She wanted to forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. Oh, damn. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Hey, yo, hockey. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Really? Ah. Uh -uh. Someone needs our help? Maybe. You want to go check it out? Me? You sure you don't want to go? I'm on the no. show. I'm locked up tight in here. I'll pass Convenient. you the key to the stairs. Gee. Thanks. Gee, thanks, Peggy. Wow. I'm sure it's pizza I'll delivery. Front door. See you in yep. For sure. Here's your special delivery. Okay. Here to murder ya. <laughs> I've learned that from stories that taking another last name is a very long and complicated process. Really? Thanks for the keys. Love how s the second floor stairway. Locked tight. We got a rat trap in here too? <clears throat> Oh, these are the records I have. Sure, it's just pizza delivery. Uh huh. Why don't we have like cameras or something? Peggy, if I die, I swear. Oh, this is kind of hey. nice. Tape. Play okay. On air. I don't think we should. I don't think we should. Mm 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 mm. Mm mm. Got a lot of coffee in this place though. They sure do got a lot of coffee. Well, how, how is such a nice gift, right? Goodness. I don't know how to say this, but I think we should see other. Ooh, should see other people. I hope we can still be friends, though. P.S. You owe me five bucks for the festival tickets. Oh. 
Damn. You know, Barb, if you need someone to go to the festival with, Vertigo. Exclusive first look, died alone. Oh, someone made you a mixtape. How nice. Uh-huh. I like festivals, Barb. Maybe we could go. Let's see, what's this? Cake by the ocean floor? Oh, gosh. Goodness, great. Datables. Wow, this is a VCR. Wow. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Oh, look it! It's little... It's little... It's cats! Luna! Scariest thing we've seen so far. Asking for $5 from your partner for festival tickets. It's giving a broke cheapskate. I agree. Like, dang. Brad, that's just messed up, man. That's just messed up. I don't even think I've ever owned a VCR. Oh, really? Doors, so few keys. I know I have. Maze, the amazing maze. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Our setting is 1987. Nice. New music to play. Ooh. Yes, we know you have, Garrett. Mini, <laughs> oh, I see how it is. <laughs> oh, that was VHS. It goes into V into the VCR. I'm so old. Oh shoot, I didn't even know that. <laughs> it goes. In, that's true. VHS. It goes into the VCR. I forgot about that. True. True. I feel like some of these may have something we need, you know? Next, you're going to tell me that you had a Nintendo 64 or a PlayStation 1. Actually, I didn't, but my dad did. My dad had a PlayStation 1, but I broke it. As a baby. By sitting on it. Thankfully, you know, I have a Nintendo 64. Oh, I, I'm so jealous of that. I'm so jealous of that tweet. Is that staff floor door locked? It is. Good on the new job. Oh. Yes, that is the one I stepped on, Mini. Yep. Yeah, honestly, that deserves a punk. Happy, sad, Lintine's day to me. I still got 30 minutes. <laughs> I still got 30 minutes. You forgot about that? I forgot about the name in particular, Allie. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. I'm sure your dad was very happy about that. Maybe in the moment, was very happy about it. But it's a funny story he loves to tell now, you know? But you are not old, Allie, okay? Goodness. And Cake by the Ocean Floor, Luna, I got you. We'll probably find a good stopping point soon because I know it's getting late as well. Um, axe. Final. Decapitation. Kind of doing like some looking around, find see if we can find some stuff. My collectible self is like, you know, alone. Oh, it sounds like a story that he likes to tell at every holiday dinner. Pretty much. Pretty much rock on gallows for life. Oh. Genie. The hell was that? Did those fall over? Yo, that was scary. Jeez. Genie and Carrie's friendship quiz. Most likely to peak Mount Everest. Hot David, Kyle, Heather. Heather, okay. Most likely to win the award for worst poker face. Cynthia won that one, okay. Most likely to end up in prison. Seth took that quickly. Most likely to escape prison. Jennifer, okay. Most likely to become an Olympic athlete. Hot David. Wow. David's very popular around these parts, I see. All right, where's that tape? Goodness. Say, Milo, I got 34 minutes. A single 
uh for 22 years oh my goodness hey hey husky every valentine's day hey don't worry your time shall come husky your time shall come old enough to have used vhs tapes daily i mean i used vhs tapes a lot too i had some really good movies on there is this an exit goodness or when somebody buys something new make sure you don't leave it lying around garrett might sit on it Okay, you step on a PlayStation 1 one time, one time, okay, and you just never hear the end of it. <laughs> never hear the end of it. I am not going to lie, I used to have quite the collection of Thomas the Tank Engine on VHS as a kid. Fair. That's definitely fair. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, ooh. Please say it's true. It will, it is true. It will happen. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. It will happen. It will happen.